Quentin! <laughs> this is the interruption you've been waiting for. Hi. I'm Margo. <laughs> this is him. Mm -hmm. Hmm. He's not that cute. Don't. You'll scare the child. Maybe he should be scared. <sighs> You're so dramatic. <laughs> we all signed this waiver. Hope you read yours. It says, spell work is not unlikely to murder you, and if so, Oh, well. OK, party, good. Oh, party? Oh, we're party. coming. Super risky. Oh, no. All right. Oh, no. OK, what is this? It is a. Glad to see you, kid. Oh, thing. Are There's... you OK? We're... It's OK. We're just I'm going to get you a nice drink. Jesus, you didn't tell me you were dangerous. Avada Kedavra. Whatever, Elliot. <laughs> Welcome to the Physical Kids Cottage. It's the single best place on campus for a number of reasons that will become clear as soon as you taste our signature cocktail. Try on this dress I have. It's perfect. It's made exactly for those hassets you're hiding underneath that pilgrim tent. <laughs> yes, you must. Trust me. Apremo. What took you so long? I'm starving. Welcome to our gracious abode. Even your first year, boys. What's your obsession with the flavor of the month? Oh, I know. He's a high strung super nerd. We love those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Alice. Is that Genji? You guys know her? Everyone does. She runs a retreat. It's like yeah. Camp David for magicians. If Camp David was run by Caligula. <laughs> I mean that in the best way. Oh, that sounds kind of fun. It's boring as death. You're boring. You're boring. And I need my strength so I can properly wrap this bottle of double charm sake you can only get from a very particular monk on Okinawa. But I'm sure Genji is going to love your little cakes. <laughs> this is war, bitch. She comes get ready for the first spanking you won't enjoy. That's actually kind of hot. What do we need her for anyway? We can start our own bed and breakfast. Retreat. Hotel. Bath house. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Onward to glory! Come on! Go! Go! Take turns blowing the horse. Like, fine, but I am not going first. <laughs> Does this say Abisa? Yes. But this screams Ibiza. <laughs> For fun, someone. Someone, not us. No, not us. Turned Todd into a pig. And we ate him. Wait, are you guys messing with me right now? Okay, well, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. Copy that. Are you guys trying to translate Arabic? Because I aced it here. I mean, it was a couple of years ago, but. Yeah. Mm hmm. Cry for help. Mike. Elliot. Margo. This magic gin better make us unicorns and fart rainbows. Guys, we have a lot of work to do here. Just bang. Now! Todd was more helpful than you. Mm. Don't. I'm just using you for effect. You're right, Margo. I'm sorry. Listen, I really hope we get a chance to get to know each other. We'll give it a whirl after a visa. Maybe. Enough, ladies. You wished my boyfriend away. Boyfriend? He's a random cop. No. Huh? Oh, God. Shh. Oh. I don't get this part. My full wish? The mic could go back to where it came from and suck on some other knob. So literal. Elliot, come on, we're gonna miss the opening orgy. You're not even dressed. I'm not going. You're gonna miss me so hard, you won't be able to get it up. That's uh, probably true. Todd! See that she hydrates, wears sunblock, and waxes. Mamas down south can get jungly. The lizard man over there? Elliot. Honey, what are you on? Some pinks, a green, and a tab of something called chocolate sunshine. 
Uh, Maybe you should get checked out at the infirmary. Me strong like a bull. Let's go on a quest. Wait, are my eyes open or closed right now? How about now? He has a massive drug problem. Thank you. Mm. You, on the other hand, appear to require medical intervention. <laughs> <laughs> that was me? Have you engaged in any unprotected rituals of any kind? Be honest. That son of a bitch. You see two of you too, right? This stuff is finally starting to wear off. Uh, I can explain. Explain this, you dick! Hi, I'm Elliot. A golem of Margot. A Margolem. <laughs> <sighs> what? I brought you to support me while I fight with my ex, not two lines with the golem. I like your golem. Life is a unicorn shitting rainbows of candy. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus. There she is. She has a bad habit of walking off. Although, when she does, it's nice to be reminded I have a great ass. Got these for you, bitch. Aww. Thanks, bitch. We need to chase her. Oh, Jesus. It's 11 in the morning. I'm listening. <laughs> No way in hell we're doing that fucking spell again. You are Margot. You are fabulous. You are under the influence of a probability spell. I am fabulous, Arna. <laughs> what are we planning? Nothing yet. Just discussing how we're all probably gonna die before we even set foot in filler because the Netherlands are full of mercenaries. Sounds like a problem. Point is, we need some serious battle magic. But that stuff's illegal. I'm fucking with you, I'm in. I'm in too. I heard the word illegal. Well then, shall we go fuck some shit up? Mm. Yes. Yes. Yes, definitely. Definitely, yes. Fine, I'll go. Cheers. Jesus, you two. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You're Jodo. And you are Dorothy. Yeah. And I am flying <laughs> Muppets. We're just gonna act like children now? No, no, Bambi. He's got a right to be mad. No, he doesn't. People don't get to be mad at me because I had sex with him. You're welcome. Both of you. No food, drinks, or any other intoxicants are allowed in the library at any time. That includes emotion bottles. Damage always ensues. You understand, of course. <laughs> Is everything all right, Ellie? Everything's amazing. Yeah, I brought a gun. Thanks, Margo. You're welcome. Why didn't you move? Acid carrots. Margo, you saved my actual life. Hooray. You lived to drink another day. How wise you are, Queen Margo, the destroyer. <laughs> I think you're the only person that I can stand. You know what that means? You have to be my best man. <laughs> and when we're stuck in some epic fantasy that likes to be head of heroes halfway through season one, if we even are heroes, we might be comic relief. I thought you threw that out. It's for emergencies. So we are fucked without grace. It sounds like us. Must be a Monday. Onward to glory. <laughs> I. Do hereby crown you High Queen Margot, the Destroyer. I mean that in the best possible sense. I have known what you truly are since the day we met. Long may you reign. I guess we're gonna die. 
to our pretty corpses. Children of Earth, I have returned. Spank my cheeks. <laughs> Alice is going full Harry Potter part seven slash eight over there. God, I hope we're winning. I know we're being serious right now, but that surgeon has the biggest dick. Somebody skipped her colonic this morning. For whatever stupid reason, you're the high king of an entire land. You have to be responsible, Elliot. Since when are you Hillary Clinton? Since I'm me. I wasn't so experienced when we were first together, but you're so great at it. <laughs> you're huge and it's so good. And. Elliot, I don't know how to politely ask you to fuck me. Oh, look, Margot's here. You remember Lassero? That creep who made the Margola? I twisted his arms and or balls a little, and he gave up the spell. Me liking. You're thinking about banging yourself, aren't you? Shh, shh, shh. No, no. Doing your clone is more like AP-level masturbation. Oh, put on a robe, would you? Why does everything smell so great? Because your doppelbanger hasn't met cocaine yet. Are you wearing my vest? I am wearing your vest. Yes. Keep it. <sighs> New plan. I give up on Fillory and dedicate myself completely to destroying Todd. Oh, it's just Todd. Just Todd? He's usurping me. My entire kingdom is at stake. Your actual kingdom is actually at stake. He's a native Fillorian. My own people are trying to kill me. It's so French. A Foo Fighter. Did you say Foo Fighter? Margaret Behan. We will not rest until a Fillorian sits upon the throne. I mean a Foo Fighter. Margot. When was the last time either of us dealt with a political insurgency? Unless getting kicked out of a fivesome counts first for me. Same. I'll grab what I can from the Breakfast Library. Oh, fine. And grab some Adderall while you're there. I'll tell the council in the morning. But I'll do it. The man's life is my burden to bear. Get over yourself, Ned Stark. Oh. oh, God, he should never do that move again. It's niffin' bait. You have to call to them at the point of their transformation with something personal. Oh, it's a sex thing. No, it's Cirque du Soleil. You know, Cirque du Soleil. You and Alice had sex to Cirque du Soleil? No, it was something I would do to cheer her up when she was sad. It made her laugh. Oh. I present Princess of Loria. I'm sorry. Princess? Please. Call me S. Prince S. Oh my god. Fuck your parents, dude. And to seal the alliance, I, Crown Prince of Loria, offer my hand in marriage to the Virgin Queen Margot. Um, okay. Did he just call me a virgin? Bambi, please, let me. Fine, but while we're talking about them, you could have been a little diplomatic. By agreeing to marry a complete stranger on the spot. I did it. That was different. <sighs> You're right. This would only really be equivalent if S was a girl and you found pussy, you know, interesting in a sometimes you like Thai food kind of way. And now it's all Thai food forever till you die. You fucked with us. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. You fucked with our castle. Amen, sister. And now we're gonna put our Jimmy Choo so far up your ass you're gonna taste next season. Exactly. Whatever that means. Because the High King and I hereby declare war on the kingdom of Loria. Yes. Wait, really? We're excessively optimistic. Spare no expense. Which brings me to my point. Fixing the wellspring is expensive. War is expensive. And at this time, we do not have the funds necessary. We're broke. How would you guys feel about robbing a bank? A bank heist? Wow. I think the time we've invested in him may actually pay off. Mm -hmm. P.S. We still hate you. But it's the 21st century. Shouldn't be this hard for a girl to get an evil demigod abortion. And we're emotionally advanced. We can hold resentment and sympathy for a person at the same time. And Fillory's broke. We need gold, so... Who here has actually robbed a bank? When was this? Senior year of high school. I had some issues. Nice of you to join us, asshole.
really does sound like you've got it all handled. I do, but it's more fun with you. A duel? L. With S's dad, he's gotta be at least 50. And I'm pretty buff from all the living without technology and decent wine. Slow down. I hear by decree. Rulers, done gonna rumble. Elliot, <laughs> the intel I'm getting on King Idri and the protocols of dueling, not good. I mean, you ever even touched a sword before today? No, but magician. Wow, sword fighting spells, of which there are only two anyone knows of, take months to master. Why? It's a giant butter knife. Magic. No, I should practice. So move your ass and sing. Beyonce does, which is why she's a boss. Hmm. Don't make me sing. <laughs> One day more. One more day before the storm. Do I follow where she goes? One day more. Sorry, I had to skip some verses. They're great, but they don't really apply to our situation. Oh, OK. Gotcha. I'm confused. It's the duel not today. It's a metaphor. Okay, is he allowed to do that? Kings do whatever. Fine, he bitched out. It's over. It's over when one ruler is dead. We're getting married. Wait, what? Uh, hello? Pregnant wifey, your dick no worky. So what? You're all just gonna shack up We're together. all just one big royal polyamorous family. Isn't it great? No one has to die. Everyone gets what they want. Elle, can we take a second? <clears throat> what? So you fucked his son. It doesn't have to be weird. Can I ask you a woman question? <sighs> I barely understand women. I think my pregnant wife might be having weird pregnant wife feelings. Ew. Definitely not my rice bowl. Why am I staring at a plate of half-eaten nachos? A question I've asked myself very often at 3 a.m. After all the hours I spent down in the dungeon, I actually thought I'd won Baylor over. I thought I had rehabbed his soul. Oh, honey, we both know rehab is about more than nachos and backgammon. Is it? Is it, Marco? Dude, their shit was seriously jacked up. Their K-holes were inside K-holes. Does that even make sense? I'm just saying, the Foo Fighters are out of commish for the foreseeable future. Your wedding may proceed apace, sire. And you, good sir, may shave any nymph in the kingdom. Just floating this, would it be weird if I fucked Josh? I certainly hope it would be weird. What the fuck? I'm not getting laid tonight, am I? Take her to the dungeon. No! Elliot. I'll fix this. Make sure she gets the best room. And see that she gets her coconut oil. Goodbye, Marco. I look like Jack Sparrow if he were played by a man. I was actually thinking more like a fembot Nick Fury. Wait, is your good eye crying right now? Yes. And it's not my good eye, it's my only fucking eye. <laughs> it's not funny, dick, I'm a cyclops. A mythological monster at last. We do what we do best. Act out with a total lack of empathy and impulse control. Party like the world depends on it. Because Bambi one eye, it do. Oh my god. I threw better orgies when I was 10. What about a human sacrifice? No, unless the cakes are bad. Well, they smell great, but I don't think they're working, so. Little cakes. Mm. Oh. Shit, tons of drama and surprise. Intriguing. How? Don't destroy Fillory. Shake things up, yes. 
Like the rats. <laughs> yeah, it's the rats are hilarious. Well, it's good, wasn't it? Yes. We're all still laughing, right? <laughs> right, laughing? <laughs> 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 There's so much more to do here. So many twists and surprises this world can offer. Mm. Martin told me you died. When he banished me. Hey guys, how about a hug? I, for one, am slightly terrified and equally excited and trying not to break into Hamilton. And so, I turn over the next phase of our maturation to our High Queen Margot. We need a constitution. Pardon? These are some pretty good ones here, so let's rip off the best parts. So what the hell are we gonna do? About Queen Bitch and all her spooky little bitches? Poison sounds nice. What if they know about this in Loria? If I send Idri a message... Worst case, he comes here, you look at him naked and cheer up a little. How dare you make me sound that shallow. But yes. Ow! What? Ow! Dude, you're gonna leave a mark and I don't like that in a non-sexual context. That Farouche bulk in the crowd. More Cersei Lannister. Glad I made you read those. Well, I read the wiki. What? Those books are like a million pages long. I have a life. Okay. So we have to keep it very best episode of Buffy. <gasps> Musical? Other one. How do we Lizzie Borden the shit out of this thing? Because mm. I am about ready to go full 07 Britney. Even without a wand, Harry would figure some shit out. Honestly, I didn't quite finish those books either. Our Harry, I mean. Oh! Mm -hmm. Consult the creepy pedophile. So. We're out of dough. Moolah. Cheddar. Money, people. Magic's gone. We can't even control the gold-shitting beetles anymore and that they've declared themselves free and disappeared. We're about to be a third world country on a planet with two and a half countries. Oh, God, what a cliche. The baby that becomes a teenager practically overnight. Right. Angel. Twilight. Buffy. Technically, Buffy's sister was never a baby. She just appeared out of nowhere, and oh my god. Two months without Dick, I sound like Quentin. The point is, I will do any of the above and worse if she disobeys me. Disobeys what? Jesus, fuck! <clears throat> never do that. What you're doing is very heroic. But what's the difference between a live hero and a dead moron? Food tasters. One dumb decision. So when it's be brave and be smart, you know which one, okay? Wait! You bitches looking for these? Fuck. That entrance line was the only thing keeping me going through six feet of dirt and corpse. Maybe. And I swore I wouldn't do that. Margaret, you saved our lives. In addition to robbing the cradle in a grave, I'll never get that smell out of my hair. Well, you guys got to loop out of your shitty past. Looks like I'm stuck with mine. We are not leaving you alone with this. There's the old ball and chain now. I'd better catch some rest before he wakes up with a boner. Some bad, bad ideas. I'm not having sex with you, you psychotic fetus. Ever. Who are we now, Elle? We used to be glamorous, amazing mega bitches. And now? We have depth and character. Let's decide. We'll find us again once we're done saving Fillory. Oh my God. The fuckers are terraforming. They're turning our kingdom into a mushroom steam bath. That is not okay. I'm, I'm gonna do it. Mm, Margot, don't. Uh, it's a fairy uh, embryo. No, 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 no. This is a full scale invasion. We need a plan bigger than just assassinating the queen. We need, we need, we need, we need, we need, we need. We need. Marga? Marga. Kidnapping. Hostages, whoever's, don't ask questions. What go. the go. fuck? Go! Go! You kind of still need to fuck your husband. Don't worry. I got this. They've got fangs. Oh! 
call something been my manhood. Congratulations, son. You just had sex. The first time's always painful. It's all those teeth they've got down there. But hey, you were amazing. What? I like to watch. Wanna go again? Uh, hmm? Hey, I don't know if it was just like a super anxious rabbit, but your message made things seem kind of... Dire? They are. Are those supplies? Hostages. Who the fuck are you? I'm Poppy. I'm helping Quentin find the next key. No, she's not helping me. We're, we're... Okay, can we hit pause on the recap until we're back where our pasty usurpers won't kill us all? No more shadow puppeting. Just straight up puppeting from now on. Or hey, you could leave. There is another option, you know. I find my children... And then. You have till tomorrow to have fun on the little egg hunt, because if you don't make this deal, we're about to boil and die him like it's motherfucking Easter around here. I don't know what that means. And now we're supposed to just hand over the kingdom to the albino supermodel? Bitch took my eye. Those fairy bitches want to come for my crown. Well, I'll shove it up their fucking egg holes. Well, that raises some anatomical questions, but... I'm on board. There is some good news. You are free to choose the manner of your execution. What part of that news is remotely good? Which death on your little list takes the longest? The one with the word infinite in it. Right? right. You will plummet through freezing waters against walls of razor rock so you bleed out or drown. Or if you're lucky, just starve to death. I really don't think we could have picked a better option. You pickpocketed the key? I did. Not. Oh, you're the worst. The absolute worst rulers Fillory has ever had. Oh, come on, Martin Chatwin. All of you. <laughs> Her too? Does everybody hate us? You might as well just undo these. I shall. Not! Okay, the not thing is kind of arch. We didn't make the world. It was baked by fucking goat meat nut job, so of course it's insane. We made it better. Come on. We've pretty much only ever had each other. And that's gotten us through pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything. Everything. I love you, Margo. I know. Can you, can you hear all of us? Am I hallucinating? If you are, so am I. Um. Elliot, Margo? We're chained to a boat about to go over a waterfall. Yeah, complete with lacerating rocks, so. We have to save Josh and convince him to come back with us. Well, no idea what you're talking about. All right, well, we've got some life and death stakes of our own over here. Every single one of us has to sing. Under pressure that burns a building down, splits a family in two, puts people on street. Watching some good friends screaming. Pray tomorrow, chasing me higher, chipping around, kick my brains on the floor. These are the days it never rains, but it falls. People on the streets, P.I.D. water. Tomorrow, chasing me Bowie fan? Margo fan. Hillary's at war. What? The fuck? I know, we are literally questing through a war-torn country. So epic. And who exactly are we at war with? The Lorians and the Floaters. Yeah, we heard about it when we were passing through town. That cock's high king for three seconds and it all goes to shit. I need to send a bunny to eat you. Yeah, I'll send one of that stone bitch. My dear, I have yet to see any proof that your marriage to my son was ever even consummated. I made his little life flash before his eyes. Are you sure that wasn't from the toad bite? You saw it? Of course I did. I'm his mother. Wow. That's a lot to process. Are you saying you have yet to take a husband? My son's marble has yet to be polished. You mossy pimpin' bitch. Will you excuse us for two seconds? 
I don't know what they think is going on with my nose. Yeah, and those are not my teeth. And only a thousand Valorian gold crescents for us. Tickets cheap. It'll be his downfall. I'll kill him. We got news. Uh, Julie sent a bunny. Apparently her and the Fairy Queen are on good terms now. Fucking what? And the Fairy Queen is a good guy, kind of? Uh-uh. You know what? Fuck Tinker, bitch. Fuck her right in the Egg McMuffin. What, what if I am too drunk? What, 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 if, what if I screwed up? <laughs> you are not gonna cock out on me. Cock out? I'd say pussy, but let's be honest. Which one is tougher? Plant made. This is like 80% taco supplies. I'm sorry, do they not have Tuesdays in Fillory? Feel free to do your own grocery shopping next time. No, no. If I have to catch, pluck, or boil one more pigeon, I'm gonna hurl myself off the ship. But this is what we got back. Eat my ass! We're not sure if... Eat my ass! We're not sure Eat if... my ass! If this was the Fairy Queen's response, or this is one very kinky rabbit. Maybe there's something we can do to get her attention? Eat my ass! I love that bear. So do I. Yeah, hooray for bears, but we were kind of having a moment. No, honey, she loves him. Is that a thing in Fillory? Apparently very taboo, but like I told Humbledrum, as long as it's consensual, if I got my way, I'd say go hog wild or bear wild or bull wild. He's very concerned about getting your approval. I don't think he quite gets that you're not even phrase real dad. I'm so happy you're dating a bear. Thanks. Dad. Thanks, Frey's dad. No problem. You see, Frey, well, she told us that there are no fairy children in your realm, so that's a prob. That's why you planted your eggs in the northern orchard, isn't it? You can't reproduce in the fairy realm. Without fillery, you go extinct. Ignore the problem. Your egg hole's only getting dustier. Your plan worked. Tick already started putting up his own campaign flyers. Of course it worked. Giving people shit is easy. Taking it away is almost impossible. Like Obamacare. Or herpes. Too true, Bambi. Speaking of difficult conversations with a former lover, do you have a second? Why the fuck shouldn't my name be on that ballot? Because we've got to put our best foot forward. And I'm sorry, but in this case, our foot should have a dick. Josh! I hereby declare all native Valorians shall receive 10 free sacks of grain every year. And how exactly are we supposed to grow that much grain even with magic? You're making a promise you can't keep. Bambi, first rule of politics on Earth. All you have to do is say it. It doesn't have to be true. Elliot, I am so sorry. What is it? Tick's campaign just leaked the transcript from your trial. You mean the one where you called Fillory a malodorous shithole? It's already hit the posts. Son of a pickwick. I am here to deliver the official election results. Elliot has lost. Shocker. Uh, Tick has also lost. Um, what? Our new High King is Margot. Let me be the first to swear loyalty to the new administration. No. And allow me to be the second. High King Margot. Long may you reign. Does it say where the castle is? Shh, Bambi, let him read. Just saying, andale. Okay, so she faces the door of the castle. She placed the keys into the locks, and when she turned the seventh... Sorry, time out. I thought the weird door swallowed the keys. Yeah, no, it did, but then... But then she has them again? I'm not that drunk. This is sloppy plotting. Look, I mean, I get that Julia has been through some shit. Seriously, it just seems random. So it's like life then. I don't know, I'm happy for her. You forgot Calypso. Like the musical style? The witch that imprisoned Odysseus. And I love you, Al, but how the hell did you pass AP Lit without ever reading? I didn't. Someone has to step up. Quick alternative pitch. Take the gun with a god-killing bullet and shoot the fucking monster in the face. Second, second that, yes. No, 
I, I promise, no clever stuff. It's more bloody and straightforward. But this monster, it's not a joke. What's up? In case I get held up. Don't. You hear me? You got this, okay? The gods created something that simply wants. So it has to know one secure place and constant love. If not, if its appetite goes unfed and it's unleashed, even the gods can't stop it. Will you play with me? Does everyone grab a key? The magic just makes people different shades of bad. We can't handle it. You can't handle it. It stops now. What are you doing? I'm gonna cut the bitch, grab her fairy coke power up, and fix this. Will you play with me? <laughs> what? Hey, ah! you think you can cast faster than I can staff? Please, oh, just listen to me for the night. Oh, shut the fuck up. Magic's gone. It's done. He's right. Dean Fogg? Sophie, hit pause on your idiocy for a sec. Janet? Hi, I'm Isaac. You're late, me too. Uh, luckily, I don't recognize the legality of red lights. Quentin, I found you. Oh, uh, no, sorry, I'm Brian. Will you play with me? Uh, I'm sorry, I think you've got me mistaken for somebody else, but I, you know. There's so much for us to do together. I think anything is more fun when you do it with a friend. Tell me Elliot is still in there somewhere. You could choose a new body. But I like this one. You and your friends care so deeply about what happens to it. Why would I ever leave it? I love you, Margot. I know.